Signal received, Mandalore. The proton core is active. We still need to set three more charges. Mandalore, we are holding our position, but the Sith appear to be offering little resistance. It's like they don't even realize we're here. What do you want? 
Now, what do you want? My life for yours. I will answer what I can. My master did not cause the end of the planet you speak of. There are many factions within the Sith, all seeking to take what little remains in the wake of the Jedi. Where one they... My life.
the target sites. Place the proton core, prime it. Then give the signal, Mandalore. Arming signal received, Mandalore. The proton core is active. Two more sites are left. We've lost contact with two of our squads and we've had to fall back to the docking area. Final insult. Stripping Onderon, my soldiers, my home from me, only to have me die here. He happened. The hunger that fills this vessel. It is power, but it consumes without end. It is that power we felt on Onderon, that Vaklu felt. It was an echo, too strong to ignore. General Vaklu and I, when it seemed that we would need more to take Onderon, make it strong again, he came with his power, his soldiers. It seemed as if there was nothing we could not do, nothing the Queen could do to stop us. There's nothing to be done, except wait. If you go to him, he will destroy you. And your last moments shall be of shadow and pain. There is nothing to be done. By coming here, you are already dead. Onderon, but there's no longer any need. You are right. As long as he exists, Onderon is in danger. The galaxy is in danger. What would you have me do? Go report to the target site, Colonel. I'll let my men know you're coming. And if you try anything stupid, they'll shoot you dead. I will do as you ask. For Onderon's sake. Such acts have their own strength about them. They had forgotten. Principles of sacrifice and charity. These are things I have not seen in some time. I'm afraid that it will weaken you for what comes. But I have said enough, and you do not need my counsel. Your actions should, as always, be your own.
my life for you. You must not do this. I cannot allow you to weaken yourself for me. So you say, but it is not something I have observed or seen. I remember little of my homeworld before I entered my master's service. It is not as it was. There is little left of such memories. Or the planet itself. It is not a subject which I have spoken of since its destruction. It was not a thing done with machines or weapons. The force is far more terrible, and it touches more lives than any machine can hope to slay. For everyone that feels the force, strongly, deeply, each one feels and perceives it in their own way. You have strengths, whether you know it or not. And my master has his. His power is great, and it comes from hunger. He is a wound in the Force, more presence than flesh. And in his wake, life dies, sacrificing itself to his hunger. And those who feel the Force strongly are beacons to his hunger. My people, my planet, would have been attacked in time. It was inevitable, yet we could do nothing about it. The Jedi, the last council of the Jedi, came to our world to meet in secret. They hoped that perhaps among our people, they could achieve the clarity to see what was striking them from the darkness of the galaxy. They succeeded, but only in bringing him from the outer regions. And Qatar, with my kind, with the Jedi upon its surface, could no longer be ignored. And my people died, and the Jedi died, and there was no one left, only me. They hoped to see the threat that had been stalking them, and they did. But they were unprepared for the magnitude of the threat. He cannot deny his hunger for long, and any gathering of Jedi is something he cannot long resist. And now that the Jedi are vanishing, I do not know what will happen. Perhaps he will grow strong enough to eradicate all life, merely with his presence. Mandalore. Only one proton core remains to be set. 
We're encountering heavy... What the hell was that? I told you to wait! Commander Orr, we've made contact with the enemy, and one of the cores has detonated prematurely. Was it in the target zone? No, Mandalore. We have failed you. I offer you my... Do we have another core? No, Mandalore. Even with the other two cores set in the ship, it will not be sufficient to destroy the vessel. We need to find another proton core, or we need to make one. All right, wait for my signal. This isn't over. And don't kill yourself before I tell you. This door leads to my cell. I had forgotten. If there is time, I would like to center myself. There is a meditation chamber within my cell that I would visit one last time. Past the surface, there is the Force. Where once there was a world that was strong in the Force, now there is a barren wasteland. It's okay. It's good. It has taken time for me to return here. I lost my way. But I've been stronger for the journey. What happens now shall not be done out of hate or revenge, but for the sake of all life. And I ask you, finally, to forgive me. This body is a prison no longer.
rum. Received Mandalore. The Proton Core is active. That's the last of them, Mandalore. We can destroy the ship on your command.
This door leads to the bridge and my former master. If you wish to gather your strength, this is the last time. No, do not harm her. I am the one who has betrayed you. I am the one who should suffer. I will return to you. P please, do not harm her. Do not what you did to me. I beg you. I... I... will try. He... I... cannot hold him for long. I 
saw a graveyard world, surrounded by a fleet of dead ships. I felt it through him, as I feel it through you. You are my master now, and I will follow wherever your path takes you. My path is at an end. Admiral Onasi wanted to speak with you, ma'am. It's a little beat up, but it's still home. I wasn't able to be here to protect it when the Sith attacked the first time. This time you gave me a second chance. I owe you. I've read your records, how the Jedi sentenced you, and doing what you believed. You wandered past the Outer Rim during your exile. I ask you, did you find any trace of Revan? I served with her, like you did. And we had to part, like you did. She said that there were places where she had to walk where I could not go. Places that she could not bring those she loved. 
I've waited for her to come back for almost four years. It doesn't get any easier. I would have done anything she asked. And when she told me to stay here, to try to keep the Republic strong, that was the hardest thing of all. I don't know, but it was important to her. She said that she believed something had been behind the Mandalorian Wars, that it hadn't been the Mandalorian's choice to attack the Republic. Whatever it was, I think she went off to find it, to fight it. It was near the end of the Jedi Civil War when it seemed like we were going to lose everything. We met on a Republic warship called the Endar Spire. It was being attacked over Terrace, and the Sith had stormed the ship. We saved the Republic, but it was like the war didn't end for her. She would keep remembering things that she had done, and it kept driving her. And she kept using it as a wall between us. And I think she finally remembered something terrible she had done during the Mandalorian Wars, and she went to put an end to it. She left without warning. She didn't say where, only that it was to a place where she could not take anyone she loved. And here you return, with her ship without her. Yes, wherever she went, your ship's been there. If... if you return to that place, if you find some trace of Revan... No. Simply tell her that Carthonassi is waiting for her. Safe journey, exile. It has been some time. You were a fool to return. I spared you once. I will not do so again. Why have you returned? Because now I understand why the Exile did what she did. There is much to be done. <laughs> 